As we hit the peak of prom season, local schools are dealing with some questionable fashion choices. They're trying to determine which prom dresses are too risque and what's acceptable. One Catholic school is getting attention for something that's been dubbed the modesty poncho. Paula Tupman live in Dearborn and Paula, we're not talking about an actual poncho, but this is a common issue. Yeah, you're exactly right, Karen. And in fact, while there was a poncho there, the school has made it perfectly clear it will not be handing those out at the prom. It basically wanted to show a concept a concept of appropriateness. Now, indeed, the story has gone viral because of social media. It has gone national, but this isn't just a problem for this school. It's a problem throughout the district, an issue that's being taken very, very seriously by some of the districts this year in particular. Divine Child is a place of uniformity, literally. And when it comes to the prom, the message sent to parents, we encourage our students to tailor their outfits or provide their own wraps or shawls that would meet our requirements. If necessary, we may also provide wraps and shawls, as we have done at school functions for many years. Especially if you bring a girl from another school and you take them to prom and like, like they come in, they have to put that on. Imagine how embarrassed they would feel. Few are likely surprised that a parochial school with a strict dress code and uniforms would demand modesty at a dance. But the fact of the matter is, this is a huge problem for nearly every school having a prom. I've seen everything from the entire side of a dress cut out so that there's only one lace here and one lace here and no underwear. I've seen uh, men who, young men who actually have their pants sagging around the bottom of their behind. Derek Lopez is the interim superintendent for the Southfield School District, and he is deeply concerned about the current prom attire from both male and female students. Okay, prom is one thing on the everyday basis. The students, however, have their own opinions, including Shannon, the class valedictorian. It's your body, it's your business. I mean, we're, especially for prom, because most of the people there are 18, 19. No, you should not be able to wear anything you want to prom because it's still a school event. And Mr. Lopez wants it clear that if you are inappropriate, you will be sent home from the prom this year. They minimize the bees, minimize your breasts, minimize your buns, but really make it timeless and classy. He has actually asked students to be proactive in their choices. When in doubt, bring your outfit or a photograph to a school staffer. I thought this one was unique. I thought one of the unique colors you need for That's a color yeah, yeah. so pretty. Yeah, and you don't really have to do a lot of accessories with it. Because no. it just kind of speaks for itself. No, the alternate dress was a little. It, it was a little flashy, and yeah. and there was a little bit more there. And it wasn't lined. At what point does this not become something that the parents should be paying attention to? Why does a school have to do this? Because parents often want to indulge their children. That's really quite the. And, you know, that's a very important point. And I don't know if you noticed in that video, but those young women really appreciated going over their dress choices with an adult. So maybe they don't want to be told what to do, but they certainly don't seem to mind talking about it to grown-ups. Karen? Better to figure out now instead of waiting to that night of the prom. Thank you, Paula. Appreciate it.